And then you will divide 720 with 6, you will get 120 degrees. So the answer is 120 degrees. Size of each interior angle is 120 degrees. Okay, students, now I'm going to explain you B part of question number 3. Okay, students, B part is find the sum of interior angles of a regular polygon with 18 sides. Now the sides are given and the sides are 18. There is a shape which is having... There is a polygon and which is having 18 sides. Okay, you will use the same formula. First, you will write down that sum of interior angles of a polygon with how many sides are given? 18 sides are given with 18 sides. So the formula is n minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree. Now basically n shows the number of sides. So the sides are 18. So now you will put 18 in place of this n. You will substitute the value of n which is 18. 18 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree. And when you will subtract 2 from 18, you will get 60. So 16 multiplied by 180 degree will be equal to 2880 okay we have found the sum of angles of a regular polygon with 18 sides and which is 2880 here we have to find out in second part this was the first part and in second part they are saying that find out the size of each interior angle same method you will follow you will divide sum of angles with number of sides okay the size of each interior angle so you will divide sum of angles with number of sides and the sides are 18. Now when you will divide 2880 with 18, you will get 160 degree. And this is your answer. Okay students, I hope that question number uh, 3 is clear to you. Now let's move forward. Come to question number 4. 
Okay, students, question number four, A part is, uh, students, your books must be open in front of you so that you can see the question. Okay, question number four, A part is, by finding the size of each exterior angle of a regular polygon with 24 sides, uh, calculate the size of each interior angle of the polygon. Okay, they are saying that for size, find out the size of each exterior angle and then find out the size of each interior angle. You know that sum of exterior angles, sum of exterior angles are equal to 360 degree. Okay, so it means that you can find out the size of each exterior angle by dividing uh, num sum of uh, angles with number of sides. So you can find out the size of each exterior angle. Okay, so size of each exterior angle, you will divide sum of angles of exterior angles, sum of exterior angles with number of sides. Here the sides are given, they are saying that sides are 24. So you will divide it 360 with 24. Students remember that here we are finding out the size of exterior, each exterior angle. So that's why we have divided 360 because sum of exterior angles are equal to three, is equal to 360 degree. So whenever you find out the size of each exterior angle or interior angle, you just divide sum of angles with number of sides. Okay, 360 divided by 24 and that is 15. Okay, students, uh, now they are saying that uh, calculate the size of each interior angle. By finding the size of each exterior angle, you have to find out the size of each interior angle. Method is same. You can find out the size of each interior angle uh, by dividing sum of uh, sum of interior angles of a regular polygon with number of sides. But here they are saying that find out the size of each exterior angle from the size of each exterior angle. So whenever you, you know the exterior angle and you have to find out the interior angle, what you will do is you will subtract this angle from 180 because you must remember that okay here you can s suppose that there is a shape okay this is inside the shape and this is outside this is interior angle and this is exterior angle you know that adjacent angles on a straight line this is a straight line and these are the adjacent angles so adjacent angles are equal to on a straight line are equal to 180 degrees so if we know one angle suppose that this is exterior angle you have found this is 15 degree so you can find out this angle by sub subtracting 15 from 180 because these both angles are equal to 180 some of these both angles are equal to 180 so when you will subtract one exterior angle from 180 you will get interior angle so uh, this is what i'm going to do okay so size of each interior angle you will subtract 15 from 180 okay when you will subtract 15 from 180 you will get 165 degree okay students i hope that part a is clear to you again see that i have find out sum of exterior angles uh, you know that the sum of exterior angles is equal to 360 degree and we have found the size of each exterior angle by dividing uh, 360 with number of sides and we found the sum, uh, size of each interior angle by subtracting the size of each exterior angle from 180. Okay, you now let's come to the next part, which is B part. Okay, students, so B part is by finding the size of each exterior angle of a regular polygon with 36 sides, calculate the size of each interior angle of the polygon. Here the method is same. Okay, the sides are given which are 36. First, you have to find out the size of each exterior angle. Size of each exterior angle so exterior angles are given it means that sum of exterior angles are equal to 360 degree so you will divide sum of angles with number of sides and sides are 36 so when you will divide 360 with 36 you will get 10 10 degree okay students now we have to find out the size of each interior angle because i said that from the size of each exterior angle find out the size of each interior angle it's just like part a you will subtract 10 from 180 to get the size of each interior angle and i have told you the concept that why i'm subtracting this exterior angle from 180 okay gee. so when you will subtract 10 from 180 you will get 770 degree so this is the size of each interior angle okay, so i hope your question number four is clear to you now let's move forward to question number five 
Okay, students, question number five is uh, five phase. Find the number of sides of a regular polygon if each exterior angle of the polygon is given. Students, if you know the um, you know that sum of exterior angles are three hundred and sixty degrees. Sum of exterior angle is equal to three hundred and sixty degree. Okay, so whenever you want to find out the number of sides, so what you need to do is you have to divide three hundred and sixty with each exterior angle. As in part A, each exterior angle is 90 degrees. So you can find out the number of sides by dividing 360 degree with 90 degrees. So when you will divide, 90 degrees is each exterior angle. Sum of angles, you can find out the number of sides by dividing sum of exterior angles with each exterior angle. So when you will divide 360 with 90, you will get 4. Okay, now let's move forward to B part. B part is 45 degree. Okay, so you can find out the number of sides. Here each exterior angle is 45 degree. So you can find out the number of sides by dividing sum of exterior angles with each exterior angle. When you will divide 360 with 45, you will get 8. So the sides are 8. Okay, students, uh, the rest two parts are same as I have done part A and B. I hope that you will be able to do C and D parts yourself. Okay, I hope that today's lecture is clear to you. Do the practice of these sums because practice makes math perfect and especially in maths, maths needs practice. And then this concept will be more clear to you. Take very good care of yourself. Thank you very much and Allah Hafiz.